Okay, so here we have the signature body. Um, I don't really know much about men's bodies or men's clothing, but I think this is a pretty nice body for, um, you know, oops, I forgot I got my stuff off. I think it's a pretty nice body. Of course, I'm poor, so I can only afford the demo, and that's pretty much what we're going to be using throughout this is just the demo. So once we have our body here, um, I'm going to show you how you make this top and pants, and uh, yeah, let's dive into Blender. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a while since I made a tutorial. Let's go into Blender and start working on it. Now, I modified the dev kit just a little bit. This is the one you get when um, you open up the kit that they provide, but I modified it a little bit to make it easier to navigate so that it looks, you know, like all the other dev kits. Um, I remember the person who asked me to help them with theirs, they had the text block over here on this side, and it was hard for them. They didn't understand what to do, and they wanted it to look normal. So I made it look normal so you can work with it. So on this layer, you'll see that you'll have, um, when you open it up, I'm going to hit save so it looks just like this when you open it up. Okay. So when you open it up, you're going to see um, there's a low poly body of the Giovanni body and on the second layer you'll see that we have the bones here this is what makes it go the, you know the skeleton I'm gonna hold down shift and select both of those layers and then we're gonna be able to um, pose the body how we want now I just noticed that I didn't turn on the display key so I'm gonna turn that on so you guys can see what I'm doing uh, one of these days I'm gonna remember to have it turned on beforehand <laughs> alright so we have this and what we need to do is we need to prepare the body so that we can take it in the Marvelous Designer. Um, as is, is not that great. I mean, um, it's good if you want to make just t-shirts or something. But if you wanted to go in here and make pants, for example, um, we would run into a problem. You see, this guy has a very narrow uh, slit between his thighs. and not a very narrow thigh gap. Sorry if that's not the proper term for uh, men's thigh cat. <laughs> I don't know anything about men. Um, so we'll have to spread his legs apart just like we did like with the Maitreya body so that Marvel's designer can get in between those legs and make a smooth pant. Because if we don't spread the legs apart and we leave it like this, um, you run the chance of Marvel's designers uh, colliding the fabric together and making a mono pant in the crotch area, this area right here the fabric will come together and it will be uh, fused in the middle in Marvel's Night and that's terrible. I mean sometimes that happens in Blender when we're doing a rig and that's called sticky pants but at least with sticky pants we can take it apart. If the pants fuse together when they're coming together in Marvel's Designer, there's no taking that apart other than cutting a big hole in both of them and trying to fill the hole. So and to save yourself all that work, all we're going to do is click on the bones and then we're going to press R, and that enables rotate, and we're just going to spread the legs slightly apart, just like this. And that creates enough of a gap for the fabric to get between the legs, and we can create our pants. So once we have our pants, uh, our legs separated, we can go and export our um, body into Marvelous Designer. So it's posed, we're just going to click on the body, and just the body itself, not the bones. You don't need the uh, skeleton in Marvel's Designer. So you click on the bones, and you go File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. And if you're going to make sure that before you export, you check um, the export options over here on the corner, the right left-hand corner. And you want to make sure that this box is checked, the one that says Selection Only. It's very important that you check Selection Only, or else the export will fail or you'll get a whole bunch of everything, <laughs> even stuff that's hidden, like the Avastar junk, like Avastar skeletons and their hair and everything. It'll pretty much export it all. So you don't want that. You only want to export the body so that we select it. So you're going to check selection only. And um, you want to press this plus button to create a template for yourself so you don't have to worry about it later on. Like, did I check that box? You're like, no. This box is already checked because I already made a template. So we're going to just save this marvelous dummy. And now, whenever you um, go to export, let's just uncheck these just to show you. You can go into your presets that we just created. And you see all the good stuff is checked and you don't have to worry about it anymore.
So anyway, we uh, we have that selected. We can go to our desktop, and I'm gonna create a project folder for us so we can make sure everything is in here. I'm just gonna name this uh, the male, the man body. <laughs> that way I know which one it is. And we're gonna hit export OBJ. So now that it's exported, we can um, go on and open up Marvelous Designer and bring the body in Marvelous Designer and start marvelously designing. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you in the next video and uh, good luck.